Okay, hi, this is Damien, and I'm going to show you a parallax effect, scrolling effect, using CSS with this uh, this theme here that I've made. Okay, this is a kind of a portfolio type theme. As I scroll down, that image you can see is fixed. And what's happening is this about me section is scrolling upwards. I'm continuing to scroll down and a second image. The same, same type of effect. It's stuck. And the container below, which is a gallery, is scrolling over. And a third one, yet another one. Which is sort of like nearer the bottom of the page where I work, a contact page. It's like a nearer footer. Yeah, nearer the footer. Okay. Beautiful, stunning site that makes. I'm going to let's take a look at the source code right now. So I'm just going to stop that. Resume. Okay, here's the source code on I'm using Expression Web 4 here. Okay. There's a comment create a paradox effect. BJ image one, two and three are the image they're the ID rules for the three images I'm using. Under here is a CSS, background attachment fixed, center, no repeat and cover. That applies to one, two and three. So it's fixed, as you can see it was fixed. Center, no repeat, cover. Cover is the full width, it covers the full width of the screen. Okay, so first image, logo, full height. That's a comment. BJ image one, that's the link. And under that, minimum height of 100%. That's for the height. It already covers the width fully. 100% covers the height fully. So it, it's a hero image that covers the whole of your screen, whether it's desktop, or mobile. Below that is the second image. There's the link. And below it is a height of 400 pixels on whatever device. Scroll down a bit. Third image, the same as the second. That's the link. Height. Okay. So the containers below it are going to scroll over those fixed images. And that those are the rules you need. Okay, HTML and the CSS. This is inline. Inline CSS is a it's on the index page, you can see there. Okay. Now this comment here, turn off parallax scrolling for tablet phones. So media only screen, max device width, 1024. Background attachment scroll. So anything less than that won't. Because it wouldn't suit mobile. If you did want it to, you just don't put that in. Okay? So as I scroll down the index page, it just loads more CSS rules. That's the nav bar. First parallax image. And under that, it's just a container of all these CSS rules, links to a CSS style sheet. Okay, so I'm going to pre preview it once more. So I'm going to pull. Okay, here's the site previewed in the browser. Lovely, lo lovely looking site, but you can put in, in any images that you want. I'm scrolling down. So it's not much coding, it's not much coding for a scrolling effect. Take a look at full themes if you want to see how it works on mobile device or other devices, or even feel free to download. Okay, there's the contact page and more. Okay, thank you.